you know, I, you know, had many jobs and I've always made redundant from a bunch of them. And, and, you know, that there's been a couple of low points definitely in my career. And I think you look at something like LinkedIn and, and you just, you know, you never know how it ends. You just know that like you were there and things happen, but you don't know how it ends. And so my first job as an investment banker was fine. And I left and I went to a hedge fund and I missed time to market remarkably um, because I signed with a hedge fund in July of 2008 and my start date was a week after Lehman collapsed. Wow. And I stayed there until it closed down and we were made redundant sort of five months later and that was spectacularly bad timing. It was a failure on the fun part, it was exogenous, but it was a failure on my part probably in terms of you know, being too green to kind of analyze the situation and, and really I jumped into something I didn't really understand. Because by the time I signed, it was 2008, like we knew the financial crisis was coming along. You know, I was at a bank that had 35 billion worth of losses in hedge funds and, and other investments and real estate. We knew it was something bad. At that time, was switching job to go to a hedge fund really the best thing and go into a market job? Probably not. I reflect back on it, it probably wasn't the right, the right choice at the time. And it was spectacularly bad. And I've had to explain it through more interviews that I can count and through more meetings that I can imagine because people look at it and be like, well, you were in a place for five months. What happened there? You just have to explain it over and over and over again. And it was, and it will always be something that sort of follows me. So, you know, it was particularly bad. <laughs>